What damage can high blood sugar and oxidative stress cause? It is common knowledge that having high blood sugar levels is damaging to our health, but in what way is it harmful to us? Having high blood glucose levels causes oxidation of glucose and a reaction causing glycation of proteins. These reactions can cause tissue damage and create a lot of free radicals. This also decreases the activity of superoxide dismutase, which is the body's own antioxidant enzymes. This decrease in antioxidant activity again will increase the oxidative stress in a seemingly endless cycle. This oxidation and glycation reaction chain has shown to alter the mitochondria, which are the energy producing entities of the cell, and has shown to be involved in a variety of diseases. The damaged mitochondria will produce less ATP, that is energy, than a normal mitochondria. Additionally, the damaged mitochondria cannot use glucose or lipids in a normal way. This means that a person with high blood sugar is unable to produce as much energy as they should. So what can be done to offset the production of these advanced glycation end products? The researchers of this study show that curcumin could suppress the advanced glycation end products and also stimulate the synthesis of glutathione. It is also important to eat food with a high nutrient content and low glycemic index. But you can take curcumin to help reduce damage from higher glucose levels. Just be sure that the curcumin you take is well absorbed since regular curcumin is not. Taking S-acetylglutathione is also an excellent way to get protection from the negative effects of elevated blood glucose. It works really well. Taking regular glutathione is not effective since it is oxidized in the stomach and not very bioavailable. Don't waste your money.